this video I'm going to be introducing the country strum. And on this, another way that people refer to it is bass chord. So what you do in this strum is you hit the lowest note in the chord first on beat one. And then on two and, you strum the rest of the chord. So, I'm using an E minor chord to do this, and so uh, you'll end up playing the, the lowest string, the sixth string, because that's the lowest note in the E minor chord, on beat one and beat three, and then you'll play down, up, two, and, and you'll also play on four, okay, so I'm going to do this very slowly. Watch my right hand and my right foot. Notice that I am counting out loud and I am using a metronome. I'm setting it to 60 beats per minute. So, in this strumming rhythm, you don't play on the and of one or the and of three. And on beat one and beat three, you are hitting the bass note, the lowest note of the chord. Again, we're playing E minor. So, here's a demonstration of the country strum pattern with a metronome and counting out loud. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. probably notice that after I play beat one and beat three, I don't move my hand down again. I just play that bass note and then I move my hand down. So when I pick the single string, that's a downstroke, and then when I do the next strum, it's also down. So it's going down, 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 down. Bass, strum, bass, strum, strum, bass. It's also called boom chicka. The boom is your bass note. Boom chicka boom chicka boom chicka boom chicka. You can also count it one and two and three and four. But you do not play on the end of one or the end of three. That's the country strum.